In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily retouch your client's skin and get the smooth skin aspect by only working with Lightroom. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Silvia and in this channel I talk about photography, especially high-end and retouching techniques. Now that you know me, let's go to the video. There are a few reasons why you would like to use Lightroom to edit your client's skin. One, if you're starting to learn how to edit photos and you don't know very much about how to use Photoshop, this is a perfect way for you to start working on your photos. Or maybe you give your clients many, many photos and you just don't have the time to work in all of them on Photoshop. So Lightroom is going to be a really good option that will save you time on the post-production. So let me show you how you can retouch the skin and achieve that smooth skin with Lightroom. So here's the photo that we are going to be retouching. I already worked a little bit on the light to bring more light to the dark areas. And right now we are going to just retouch her skin. I'm not going to worry about her body or her hands. I just want to show you how you can retouch this skin. So for us to start, I'm going to click here in the mask area. And if you see down here, Lightroom is already recognized that there is a person in this photo. And if I click here, person one, Lightroom is going to create a mask for whatever we want. So there is the facial skin, the body skin, eyebrows and lips and whatever. There are many options here. So the option that we are going to start is with the facial skin because this is what we want to retouch. So I'm going to click here in the facial skin. I'm going to create a mask. And right now, if you can see, I'm going to get a little bit closer. This mask is really, really good. However, we are going to soft her skin, but we do not want to do this in areas that are more like lines of her face because the lines, everything is going to be blurry when it shouldn't be blurry. Before we start doing any adjustments to her face, I wanted to remove from the selection everything that's not supposed to be smooth. So right here in the mask, you can see that there is a plus sign and a minus sign and the plus one is to add more areas that you want to mask and the other one is to remove areas that you want to that you don't want it to be in the mask so right now i'm gonna click here in the minus and we are gonna select the option brush because with the brush, we have more control of we, what we want to deselect from the mask. So I'm gonna first remove the mask from her eye here and her eyebrow because this part of her face is not supposed to get smooth. Otherwise, it's gonna be very weird. And I'm gonna remove the other one as well. I'm also going to make sure that around her eyebrow um, the mask is not going to get on her eyebrow and feel a little bit weird right at the edge of the eyebrow. So I'm going to remove a little bit around the eyebrow. Another thing that I want to remove is the edge of her face. I don't want that part to be kind of blurry and not have definition. So for example, right here, I'm going to remove a little bit of the masking. I want this part to be sharp. And around her fingers a little bit. So everything that it has like some edge, it should be a little bit sharp. I'm also going to remove from her ear. And another place that I think that's very important to remove is from around the lips because it's another edge area.
And it's okay if it's not perfect. The effect is still going to work. Her nose as well. Here we have some line. Some lines. So I will want to remove all of that part that has some lines. And I'm going to remove here as well. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now that you have the perfect selection, what you want to do is to reduce a little bit of the texture of her face. So everything that's in red means that it's selected and everything that I switch here and adjust will be affected only where it's selected. So for example, if I go up with the exposure, only this part that's white is going to be, um, the effect is going to be being applied. So let me go back to zero. I'm gonna deselect this box here so I can actually see her face. And let's go down where you can find the effects and we are gonna play around a little bit with the texture. What the texture does is to put more texture so now we can see a lot of, her, a lot of the texture of her face. And if we go all the way to the other side, we can see that there is not a lot of texture. But if you notice, her skin looks very, very fake. It's kind of like blurry. So you don't wanna go all the way to negative 100. What you wanna do is just to go down a little bit. I think minus 50 is good. And you can see that there is already a difference in her skin's way smoother is way softener another thing that you can add to make the skin to be even more um, soft is to reduce a little bit of the clarity however you don't want to go all the way again because otherwise the photo is going to be looking very fake her skin looks very very fake so you don't want to go all the way down to negative 100 you just want to go a little bit Okay, this is good. Okay, I think this is good. And here's the before and here's the after. Let me get closer so you can take a better look. Before and after. So now her skin is way um, softer. And you can also, another tool that you can also work on is with the sharpness tool. You can reduce the sharpness. However, again, if you go all the way, you're gonna see that her skin will have this fake skin aspect and you don't wanna do that. Um, so you can just move a little bit. I think that for me, just texture and clattery is already good enough. So now, another thing that I wanna do on her skin is that she has some bumps to correct. And what I'm going to do to correct that is that I'm going to go to the Band-Aid here. And when you go to the Band-Aid band option, you have a few other options that you can use. One is the Erase, where you're going to use the Content Wear to select an area that you want to remove. And the Lightroom is going to use the Intelligence to actually replace that part with another part that he thinks that will suit for this part. So there we go. So it's very easy to use. You just click all the parts that you want to remove or adjust on her face. So for example, here, Oops, okay, undo, 
And I want to see her forehead as well. Here. So this is something very simple and easy to do. You just click. And there we go. It is before and after. Look how her skin is smoother, is softener, and it's a very simple way that you can work on Lightroom easily and very fast. One thing that I would do next as well is to apply one of my presetting colors here. So this is the result by just editing her skin and actually having some color. So if you like the result from the before and after, click the like button so I know that you liked the results. Now you know how to get that smooth skin just by using Lightroom. Your clients will for sure appreciate how nice and beautiful they look in your photos and this is very important if you want to get paid more if you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos check out my latest video here on the screen and also subscribe to my channel because i'm always posting videos every week with new tutorials until next time